Secret Stash, Part 3, The Late Edition. So, back to Secret Stash time. Uh, back in March, I went to Manitoba. You may ask yourself, why would anyone go to Manitoba in March? I don't know myself. But anyways, I happened to find myself there. And before I went, I checked Kijiji to see what they had. And I found a guy who was selling one of these. So let's open it up. This is uh, from his personal stash. I think from when he was a kid. Judging he's slightly older than me. Got this and that. Let's see what we got here. There you go. It's another CPR Pacific, but this time, hold on, with the correct tender. Dun 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 dun. There. Lovely, huh? And it does, compared to my current one, which is stuck in here. There you go. I'm gonna pull that down. I mean, here, there you are. It's the exact same locomotive. Um, but I, I do like the tender. This does make it. Um, and, um, yeah, I, it's a pity that the, well, this has the chrome wheels. This doesn't, but the, the tires, rather. <clears throat> but still, it's very nice. And I haven't tested this yet, but he says it works fine. And I trust him. Uh, the one thing, now, you can see here, though, I think this suits the locomotive, honestly. I do happen to like, though, the uh, the Gresley eight-wheel tender. I do think these are rather impressive-looking things. We'll go back. i put that back there and that. You don't want to know what that is. All right, that goes there. So, one thing I noticed about this guy, I'm gonna take him off here, is that these wheels on the fleeting truck, oh, I take it back. Uh, <laughs> one fell off. It might be a bit loose. When I, when I got it home and I took it out of the box again, uh, <laughs> one of the wheels had fallen off. And I put it back on and uh, I guess we're set. But anyway, so that's that. It may have, it may not have uh, an operating light in it. I haven't looked at all, this at all, uh, but we'll see. Now, of course, unfortunately, I already purchased one of these. So now I have two CPR tenders. <laughs> oh, well, still, I mean, you could put two on, couldn't you? Uh, all right, so that's enough of that. So this is this is actually my other secret stash. Uh, the theme for this one is I think it expressed when I purchased the uh, the pulpwood car uh, that I always imagined having this locomotive pulling a bunch of those. Uh, so uh, let's see what else is going on here. Oh, here we go. What's this? Uh, do 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 do. Hey, what is this? Larkspur. Hey, it's from Ontario. <laughs> Ta -da, we got here from eBay Larkspur line trains. Hmm. Let me go through that. And then wrapped up in this gee whiz, bubble wrap. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Another pulpwood car. This is, of course, the Trying uh, Railways uh, pulpwood car. Um, and if you notice here, it's in pretty good shape. It's dirty, though. Dirty. Let me take that off. Okay. And put that back on. Uh, I noticed that this looks like it's been glued. Where is it? A little bit of glue there. I think so. They had to glue that back on at some point. Still, it's quite nice. In good shape. All right. Now... Oh my god, I put a pile of junk down here. So put that up here. So I am now two cars and a new locomotive into my quest for a pulpwood train. While I'm rooting around in my stuff, maybe you could like this video or subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks very much. <sighs> I couldn't resist this. This guy, okay, I think I'm going up in, in, in quality of, uh, of boxes here. I think, uh, I don't have it, but I have the, the, the pasta box. <laughs> From England. <laughs> I had some nice dedicated postal boxes. And then that guy. Now this guy's done the right way. He's taken a box and wrapped it in craft paper, then wrapped it in plastic. This is the way you wrap a parcel. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>
<laughs> well, that's an interesting box, the little life box. I don't know what that is. It's probably... It's probably a cult, do you think? I don't know. It's a little life box. All right. But it's a nice box. I guess that's why they wrapped it in uh, craft paper, so you couldn't see what it was. Okay. It would be awful if it is a cult and what's in here is not what I ordered, but something else. <gasps> oh my god, look at this. Oh, all right. So, oh, look at that. We got it. That is not what I ordered. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, all right, so we've got well, that. I mean, these are 50 years old after all. So we got the CP. Oh, was good. Okay, so I'm back, my battery died, and I had to uh, change it out. So, um, we're still working on the life box. So here, um, in there, we have this Candy Red CP Rail box car. Um, the door is open, and they close as well, so that's great play value. Uh, the good thing is, it's got all its ladders, which is important, because they tend to fall off. They're only held in by a snap. Um, oh, look at this. Now, there seems to be a problem here with this one wheel. I think it's got kind of screwed up. I suspect this wasn't stored nicely, and I, I think we have an issue here with this bogey sprung out of it. I guess a little bit of heat would fix that. It's all right. And I can see too, this is bent, which is unfortunate. But it does roll fun. Look at that. Yeah, it wants to pop out. It seems fine. Oh, it's inside. But yeah, this is just a, a lot of stuff. I, we'll get to the, the the we'll get to the sweet part in a minute. Uh, okay, next is what looks like a flat car. Uh, this is where I get into the, my more imaginative side. Uh, it is actually a a, um, a pulpwood car without the ends. So if you look at it, there you go. So my idea is to 3D print these ends and recreate this uh, pulpwood load. A pulpwood load. Uh, so that's it. The, the funny thing is, uh, is that um, I would expect the pulpwood to disappear and the ends to stay on, but I guess the ends get broken off. And sometimes you see um, models without the ends, but you have the pulpwood load, which is a bit odd to me. But I guess that's the way it works. So we'll put that over there and I put that there. And again, I had to put the wheels back on this one. Uh, they're fine. They're better than that one. I think these, this has been unsympathetically boxed. Uh, or held. The other thing here, next we're going to go to a, a yellow CP rail. Ew. What is that? It's blue. Um, a caboose, um, and uh, it's missing a set of stairs here and a set of stairs here, which is pretty common, and the smokestack's missing, the chimney. Uh, I don't really care too much about this. I'll tell you about this one in a second. We have in here a CN rail caboose, which is, of course, the identical to this one. Uh, but it's got all its stairs. Uh, it is missing its uh, chimney, but we can fix that. Uh, I don't have a resin printer yet. I think I'll get a resin printer at some point. Uh, what else we got in here? This actually looks like, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, I don't I don't understand the person who sold this. Okay, oh, here we go. We got a w Wabash car. This is to be a cement car. This is, remember the, um, I don't have it here. Uh, but I have the cement car, uh, the trying railways. So this is actually a hopper uh, with, um, oh, it's got a bent thing. Yeah, I should have a ladder there too. Um, and it's missing itself. This is, this is common for these. Again, I can do something with this. Um, I'm not that enamored of it. I mean, I could print a new top for it too, but uh, we'll look at that. This is not, again, not why I bought it. Um, actually, one of the reasons I bought it was this. Um, well, the worst thing. Oh god, this is so badly packed. There we go. And, and look at that. That's sick. That, that's bent from the packing. God damn it. Uh, anyways, we have the Heinz pickle car. Hooray for Heinz. It's, except for the bent coupler, uh, which I'm not going to unbend now. You have uh, its Heinz 57 uh, tanks. Uh, and these like little wires. This is quite a nice car. It's got the, the wires, the uh, guide wires for it. It's got the, this one has, again, all four ladders. Super important. And um, yeah, it's quite nice. It's wood grain. Uh, 
There's not like a lot of pickle cars out there in the real world, but there were real ones. The thing is, if you look at this compared to the box car, it's the same height as a box. It's almost the same height as a box car. But I think in real life, uh, when you see these, well, look at the monitor, it looks fine. They're a bit lower. Uh, they are significantly lower, but still, I actually have this from my original train set. Uh, and it's such a great car, it's such a character car. Uh, next here. Uh, what the hell? What the heck have they done? Oh, look at this. Oh, now that's a ripoff. It's not really a ripoff. Hold on. So, what this person's done. There we go. Sorry, I bought this from a guy who's like selling basically a job lot. He wasn't a railway guy, so his stuff is sort of mixed up and whatever. Here we have the Polysar Tanker. Again, the wheels have been, yeah, see, not sympathetically stored. And that looks like it's probably been bent. Yeah, not put properly. Oh, that's screwed up. Yeah. Get in there. There. Yeah, so this is why it doesn't know their stuff. And uh, it's everything's a little bit pressed, more damaged than it was when they got it. Still, that's a nice one. Mine, I actually had this in my original set too. Uh, this end broke off. Oh, yeah, and it's missing its buffers. Oh, well, you know, it's not a North American car. But hey, there you go. Now here's the one that gets me. <laughs> so I saw the load and I thought, oh, look, it's a pulpwood car. Great. It's not. It's actually. Oh, for... did he glue this on here? Someone glued this on here. What an idiot. This is actually the flat car. Oh, man, it makes me mad. <laughs> and that should go with that. <laughs> Oh, stupid me. And they've glued this on for some reason. For... Oh. Jesus. Okay, there you go. <laughs> there. <laughs> okay, so I have three, I have three pulp wood cars now. Um, this is the flat car. Yeah, and it's been... There. I wonder if you can get buffers. I know, North American, it's supposed to be a North American model, but... You know, buffers. That's that's silly. Again, still not why I got that. Well, I kind of got it because I thought this was, but whatever. I fell for that one. Um, and then we have another CPR caboose, which also has. It's pretty good. It is missing a set of stairs, which kind of sucks. Uh, and I don't again. I don't really care too much about this. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Again, man, that's annoying. There you go. Look at that. Another one. There. Like, yeah, the, whoever stored these did not store them very well. Um, and again, the, the typical for this to come off. I guess it could print something new, I don't know. But let's see what this is. This is the one, this is why I bought it. Like, who the hell packs things like this? One can only imagine. There we go. And it's an, oh, another F9 unit. Uh, it's a different color than the other. Oh, bent, again, not stored properly. But it's in pretty good shape. Uh, it's dismissing its front uh, logo, which can be reprinted. Uh, it is less dirty than the other one. And it doesn't have the, uh, hold on, where did it go? Back to here, sorry. So yeah, this is actually pretty good. I mean, the wheels are rusty. So it's, I think this is all from the same set, probably. Like, from the same collection. Uh, they had, the listing had everything divided up funny. Uh, but yeah, I think these light up. It's just missing its crest in the front, but that's easily redone too. Um, I like the color better. Uh, and you can tell it's a later model. <laughs> it's gonna need cleaning. <laughs> Look at that, there's rust on the flange. Um, there's no knurling on the, on the uh, wheels, but there's that. Now, what is going on here, you may ask yourself. Let's put that over here. Uh, using the not so good CPR clues, and that I can get another pulp wood car, I guess I gotta get at least two more. I'm going to repaint this guy and fix him up to match the pre-1970 livery. So this would be, in real life, would be red with the, um, with that font on it. Um, technically the ends would be yellow, uh, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, but that's a project that I would like to do and match it up with this locomotive. So yeah, this is this is why I got this one was for that locomotive, and that. And 
the supposed pulp wood card. But anyways, that's nice. I really do like this. This is in great shape, and this is in great shape too. Uh, and that's nice. Uh, and uh, and again, a perfect uh, CN box car. So a, a, a mixed bag of stuff here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna test that loco uh, along with um, the other one. Oh yeah, and the Waybosh. Yeah, but what it is. Anyways, um, so that's it. So next up up is um, seeing if these things are going to run on three feet of Pico track. Okay, so let's try this guy. All right, you're on. Well, no, not running, <laughs> but I heard it go, mm hmm? Yeah, it's, there's something going on there. Oh, light came on. That's something. Okay, so, it, oh, yeah, it just probably needs a big cleaning because if you look at it, there's a lot of dust in there and gunk. Uh, so, um, well, when last we were here, um, this was, uh, I declared that this was kind of a little bit rusty and a little bit dirty, and um, I still hold to that, but you can see the, ugh, that's just kind of oily carpet fuzz, maybe with some cat hair into it. So um, what I'm going to do is, I've got my H&M transformer right here, power supply right there. I have my amp meter, but more importantly, I have uh, these. All right, so let's just for kicks turn you over. We'll keep that light bulb there. And I'm gonna clip that onto there. Hold it out straight. Oh. I used to have better probes. I should have, I used to have a probe. Oh, who knows. That was like three uh, amp meters ago. There. And there. So, let us see. I'm going to turn you on to... Well, that's in reverse, but it's full. Let's see what we got. Oh! Hey, that worked! What? What? Hold on. Oh my god, it's turning! So it just needs to be cleaned, I think. And maybe some oiling. Oh my god. Well, that didn't sound that good. <laughs> hey, it works! Maybe we'll run the, ah, it does smell <laughs> that it's been, um, hey, that's great. So, what's different? Because when I did my, my first take on this, I couldn't get this to do anything. And you saw the uh, bit on the track. Anyways, well, that's good news. Ha ha! Okay, so here you have the CPR, number 2335, uh, Pacific. I think it's a G3, as I said before. So let's give this guy a chuck. Now, I bought this from uh, its original owner. Uh, he told me he got it in 1968, so maybe he got it as a Christmas gift. Um, I, didn't, I actually thought these were the 69 catalog, but let's see what happens. Uh, he's take, he said he took care of it, and it should work, so let's find out. Well, that, that's promising. Oh, there she goes. Oh, needs a bit of cleanup. Woo! That's nice. Look at that. Uh, oh, reverse isn't that good. Or, yeah. That's very good. Forward works really well. Actually. Uh, yeah. Should you? Now, something going on here? No, she's pretty good. Awesome. So we'll move on. So that one works. Uh, it just needs a little maintenance and cleaning up. So we're good. Cool. Awesome. Um, so yeah, I think that would be great. Um, uh, so yeah, that is it for this one. So I can't wait to get that... Um, um, uh, hey, Bill, wake up. I can't wait to get a proper uh, loop going, uh, or minimum, uh, just to test these things out and see them run in the real world. So that's good. All right, awesome. So thanks very much, and keep an eye out for the next video, which should be about a week this time, if it works. Oh, wait, hold on. What video is this? Well, we'll find out. Okay, thanks.